I am a drill sergeant. I will assist each individual in their efforts to become a highly motivated, well-disciplined, physically and mentally fit soldier, soldier, capable of defeating any enemy on today's modern battlefield. I will instill pride in all I train, pride in so, self, in, in the, the army, army, and in country. I will insist that each soldier meets and maintains the Army standards of military bearing and courtesy, consistent with the highest traditions of the U.S. Army. I will lead by example, never requiring a soldier to, to attempt, attempt any task I will not do myself. But first, last, and always, I am an American soldier, sworn to defend the Constitution of the United States against all, all enemies, enemies, both foreign, foreign and, and domestic. domestic. I, I am, am a drill sergeant. sergeant. I'm Command Sergeant Major Brian Stahl, Post Sergeant Major for Fort Jackson. The video that you're watching is to invite you to the mission of serving as a drill sergeant, what your expectations can be, not only for you, but your family. First off, I want you to know that Fort Jackson produces 50% of the Army's newest entry soldiers to our greater Army. Very vital mission and you have been tagged with a, a mission that, just like I said, it is a very vital mission. But your families are important to the commander and I, which is why this video was produced. You're gonna hear from two drill sergeants, and they're gonna explain what they experience on a daily basis. And then you're gonna hear from one of their spouses and how they make this mission work here at Fort Jackson. We're glad you're here. We're glad that you're taking on this vital mission. Thank you for your service. The most rewarding part about being a drill sergeant is seeing the soldiers at the end of the cycle turning from a civilian into a soldier. Seeing their chest puffed out, walking, marching with pride, it makes you feel like you really accomplished something. You can take uh, a, so a, well, a civilian basically and, and mold them into the future of the Army. Uh, when you see it from, you know, day one to, you know, the day before graduation, the, the, the way that that individual has changed uh, and in the way that it changes their life, I, I think to me that's the most rewarding part is the fact that, that we're tasked to do that. I would tell a new drill sergeant coming to BCT is I need the first couple of weeks I would sit back and pay attention to what's going on. Still be an NCO, make your corrections, but I would pay attention to how it's run, how we do things in BCT. So then that way you won't make any mistakes that maybe other battle buddies will have already made. Um, they work six to seven days a week and um, you just need to be supportive, just like a deployment almost, because you're taking care of everything, the house, the yard, the bills, everything that you would do um, with them being gone, because when they are home, it's valuable time to spend with the family and that, and so you don't really have a lot of extra time, so you need to make most of the time that you have with them. Um, but they do have, you know, the every cycle they have like three, um, two three-day breaks or one four-day break, so that's nice, we always look forward to that, and um, the occasional cycle break, so um, it's a lot of hours, but to keep in perspective, it could be worse, they could be deployed, so. I believe every spouse should know that we're not gonna be home. Uh, I'm married, my husband works here on post, and he understands that during red phase, I'm really not there. I mean, I get up in the morning, I give him a kiss, I go to work, and when I come back, I'm, he already most of the time has dinner ready for me in the microwave and I go to sleep. I mean, I try to spend time with him, but he knows I'm not there. And white phase, it gets a little better. Blue phase, it gets a little better. But it's basically, if I were them, I would find a job or something to keep my time filled while your spouse is out there doing what it is they have to do. Well, I think for me, the most negative part about being a drill sergeant is having to learn to work with uh, individuals that aren't necessarily in my branch, um, and they don't have, they haven't had the same experiences that I've had. Um, when, when you have a certain way, when you go through the army for so many years, and you have a certain way of doing things, and coming to a new place, and and, and it's kind of a melting pot of all the MOSs as far as drill sergeants, commanders, and first sergeants go. Um, learning to work with those individuals in, in this environment, I think, is the most uh, the most trying thing to do. And uh, also, you know, the, another negative thing is you spend 
you spend so much time uh, training a civilian to become a soldier and then they graduate they leave and then two weeks later you have to you have to go right back into it again the negative part about being a drill sergeant is you don't get to see your family as much as you would like to um, I came back from Afghanistan and they told me I was going to be a drill sergeant of course I was happy about being a drill sergeant but as it went along, I realized that I, it was like being deployed still because I'd leave early when it was dark and come home when it was dark and really didn't get the chance to spend the time with my son like I would like to or spend time with my husband, being that I'd already been away for 14 months. Some of the ways that we, we compromise, to, you know, with the long hours of being a drill sergeant, when I first came to Fort Jackson, uh, I would work, you know, almost up until 9 o'clock every night, and my son was going to bed at 8.30, so for the, about the first four weeks, I, I didn't see my son, uh, so we started to put him to bed a little bit later uh, at nighttime, um, and I think when we, when we do get time off, uh, we try to spend as, as wisely as possible with each other. I have a two and a half year old, so um, normally before we had this assignment, he was in bed by 8, but being my husband averagely gets home around 8.30, we have to keep him up till 9.30 so he can see my son. So that was probably the biggest compromise, keeping my son up later so they could see him. Um, and just making the most of the little time they have, I guess, on the time that they do have off. The way that my husband and I compromise is, um, since we know red phase, I'm gonna be gone most of the time. Once white phase and blue phase hit, we make sure that we find time to spend time as a couple and spend time as a family. Even if it's once or twice a month, just to make sure that we have that time, it helps out a lot. Well, uh, as long as I've been in the Army, everybody's always referred to uh, Fort Jackson as relaxing Jackson. And uh, to me, uh, my views of Fort Jackson where that was an easy post or you know there wasn't going to be a lot of difficulty coming here and uh, coming here you find out that, that being a drill sergeant and um, you know learning the post and the rules and everything uh, it's not it's not as relaxed as everybody thinks it is. I really didn't know what to expect coming here being that coming to Fort Jackson being that it's a complete it's a trade dock post versus where we came from um, so I didn't have really any expectations except I knew my husband was going to have a lot of hours. Um, everybody, the rumor story is about it's going to be horrible, you know. Yeah, it has rough days, but um, it's been really good. I feel just Fort Jackson in general, I got involved with um, the, the play group on post. So that's where I met my friends and got really involved with my son and um, able to do that. So um, I think I've had a great time here and, and really like it. So. Well, what I know now, uh, before I came in drill sergeant, and I wish I, I would have known, is um, a little bit better uh, uh, time management, uh, because as a drill sergeant, time is your enemy. And uh, if, you, if you use every second you have wisely, then, then you'll be good to go. But like when I first got here, I didn't use every second I could as wisely as possible. How I balance my family life and being a drill sergeant is I keep communication between me and my husband and of course and my son too. And that way there's no expectations there that mommy's gonna be here for this or me as a wife that I'll be able to do that. So then that way, as long as we're both communicating with each other, things seem to flow fairly smooth. As a drill sergeant, you, you don't get a lot of time to spend with your family. And I think the best way that you can balance is that, that when you do get the time to spend with your family, that you spend it with them. Um, I know I come home every night and I'm, I'm so tired, but I try to stay up to, to spend what little time I have with my wife and my sons, and that they can at least see me for a part of the day. Um, but I, I think the best way to do it is just to know that, that when, you, when you leave work, to leave the hat at work and uh, don't bring it home with you. advice to get to a new drill sergeant family it would be just take take it one step at a time uh, try not to fight about the the hours that you're going to end up working because as 
you know, as a drill sergeant, that's your task and, and, and it's always mission first. Find a job, find something that's gonna keep you entertained because we're really not gonna be home as much as we would like. And it's not that we don't wanna be home, it's just that our job is that demanding to where we won't be home. And I would just find extracurricular activities for you to do. Just be supportive and I feel like that's kind of just what you do as being an Army spouse anyways. Um, it is a tough assignment. Again, like I, it's, it's a lot of hours and I know I've said that before, but um, just be supportive and, and make the most of your time because it's, it's little. I hope that my soldiers, by the time they leave basic training, are trained soldiers, that they are CLS qualified, that they're marksmen with their weapons, I, infantry, that they know all of the tactics and everything. Um, I just want them to leave here being confident about everything that they learn and when they go to their next duty station or when they get to AIT that they know what they're doing. I take a soldier, when I take a brand new civilian off the streets and train him to a soldier, I want him to be able, him or her, to be able to go into the Army and, and be a productive member, uh, know uh, the basics of what it takes to be a soldier um, and be able to go into their units and, and help each other work as a team and essentially you know, become the, the new army that will replace me one day.